Me? Musical obsessed? No. Where would you get an idea like that? Hey guys, so today I thought it would be fun to take you through a little perusal of a genre of music that I quite like a lot. I freaking love musicals. I've been in several myself, so theater kid 101. But today I wanted to talk to you about my three all-time favorite musicals. So this is the first musical I was ever really in a fandom for. Hamilton, Hamiltop, Hamil boy, call me son one more time. So the first musical I ever got into was Hamilton. <laughs> if you don't know already, Hamilton is a rap, hip hop sort of musical about the history of Alexander Hamilton. It came out last year-ish and it won so many Tonys because it's really good, okay? It goes through so many parts of the life of Alexander Hamilton and a lot of teachers actually will play songs in class because it's actually super educational. If you ever get into this fandom, people will think you're a history nerd. Like as soon as you fall for this fandom, you fall hard and you start reading into everything. And then you're like, oh, did Hamilton have an affair with John Lawrence? I don't know, hit me with that gay shit. So Hamilton has two separate acts and each act has about an hour's long worth of songs. So there's a lot of tracks. I'll say the hardest part about getting into the Hamilton fandom is just the stress of trying to get into it. The soundtrack is really long and it can feel like a lot when you're just presented with a two hour long musical and you're just like, listen to it, memorize every lyric of it. It's so good, you have to listen to it. Hamilton is an amazing musical and even if you don't like hip hop, Trust me, a lot of the songs are very toned down hip hop. So that was the first musical I ever got into and it was really hard to get into it because the soundtrack was so long. But after that, I was led to many other great beautiful musicals. So the second musical fandom I joined was Heathens, Hot Boys. So Heather's the Musical is so much fun. It's based off of the movie that came out in 1989, 1990, starring Winona Ryder. And it's a very dark comedy, but it's so fun. It's funny, it's entertaining, the songs are bopping. Sadly, this musical never made it onto Broadway, which is such a shame, and the fandom didn't really start until this year, so I'm so glad I'm a part of this community. The Heather soundtrack is a lot shorter than Hamilton, it's only like an hour. The only thing I'd say about Heather's is before you listen to the soundtrack, definitely watch the movie. The movie is amazing. Winona Ryder is my mom and I love her. I will say that the musical is like a bit more sexual than the movie. Uh, I would I would put a uh, not safe for work warning only on Dead Girl Walking and Blue because they compare their balls to Winnie the Pooh. Not safe for work. Listen to this alone. Hamilton's got some cussing. This just has sexual undertone. It's a good musical. It's so much fun. I love... I love it. And the last and final musical, which is a fandom I just got into. This musical is one of the most important musicals you will ever listen to. Dead Even Hand Soap. Okay, so there's a part in Hamilton at the end where, spoiler alert, if you don't know about history, Hamilton dies and it's super emotional. I didn't cry during that because I'm a soulless bastard. Dear Evan Hansen made me cry so many tears. I ruined my homework because of the amount of tears this musical produced. This is a musical about a boy named Evan Hansen who tries to kill himself by jumping off of a tree, but he only ends up breaking his arm. And he has social anxiety, and he doesn't know how to talk to people, and there's this stoner kid, but Evan writes these letters to himself, and it's... <sighs> So Evan has a crush on Connor, the stoner kid's sister, and he's writing this letter to himself, but today's gonna be a good day, because we're gonna see Connor's 
sister Zoe and she's so nice and pretty. But then Connor finds Evan making this letter and so Connor takes the letter and then he kills himself. And so the rest of the musical is just a spiral of lies that Evan creates about him and Connor being friends because everyone mistakes Evan's letter to himself as Connor's own suicide note. And it's so important and it talks about social anxiety and family and I cried. I cried so much. It's it's so beautiful. Every song is a jammer. Ben Platt for the Tony. Ah! So these are my three favorite musicals of all time. Hamilton, a hip hop two hour long soundtrack about the entire life of Alexander Hamilton. Heathers, a dark comedy about what it means to be a teen in high school where every song is a jammer. And Dear Evan Hansen about suicide and social anxiety. I'm a mess. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I especially hope you're a fan of all of these musicals or if you're not, you should definitely check them out. I'll put links down in the description of all the songs and all the musicals because there are playlists out there. So there'll be a link to the Hamilton playlist, link to the Heathers playlist, and a link to the Dear Evan Hansen playlist. But definitely check out these musicals. They're all amazing, fantastic, stupendous, best thing you've ever heard. And I'll see you all in next week's video. Bye!